Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Sunday, November the 6th. It's the 22nd Sunday after Pentecost, and week 5 in our psalm cycle. And please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Alleluia. Psalm 34, and please recite it with me. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. My soul boasts in you. The humble shall hear and be glad. O saints, glorify the Most High with me and let us exalt God's name together. I sought you, my God, and you heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. We looked upon you and were enlightened, and our faces were not ashamed. I cried out, and you heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. Your angel encamps around those who fear you and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that God is good. Blessed are they that trust in God. O oh, saints, fear your God, for there is no want for those that fear God. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek you, my God, shall not want any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of God Most High. Who among you loves life and wants many days to enjoy it? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of God are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. Your face, O God, is against them that do evil, to remove their memory from the earth. The righteous cry and you hear, and deliver them from all their troubles. You are close to them that are brokenhearted, and save those who have a contrite spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but you deliver them from all their afflictions. They keep all their bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. You redeem the lives of your servants, and none that trust in you shall be punished. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Alleluia. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 14, beginning at verse 1. Pursue love and strive for the spiritual gifts, and especially that you may prophesy. For those who speak in a tongue do not speak to other people, but to God, for no one understands them, since they are speaking mysteries in the Spirit. But those who prophesy speak to other people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. Those who speak in a tongue build up themselves, but those who prophesy build up the church. Now I would like all of you to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. One who prophesies is greater than one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets so that the church may be built up. Now, brothers and sisters, if I come to you speaking in tongues, how will I benefit you unless I speak to you in some revelation or knowledge, or prophecy, or teaching. It is the same way with lifeless instruments that produce sound, such as the flute or the harp. If they do not give distinct notes, how will what is being played on the flute or harp be recognized? And if the bugle gives an indistinct sound, who will get ready for battle? So with yourselves. If in a tongue you utter speech that is not intelligible, how will anyone know what is being said? For you will be speaking into the air. There are doubtless many different kinds of sounds in the world, and nothing is without sound. If then I do not know the meaning of a sound, I will be a foreigner to the speaker, and the speaker a foreigner to me. So with yourselves. Since you are striving after spiritual gifts, seek to excel in them for building up the church. Here ends the lesson.
Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Alleluia, the song of Moses. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider, you have thrown into the sea. You are my strength and my song. You have become my salvation. You are my God, I praise you. My ancestors, God, I exalt you. You are a mighty warrior, and Yahweh is your name. Pharaoh's army you cast into the sea, and Pharaoh's chosen were drowned in the Red Sea. The depths covered them, and they sank like stones. Your right hand, O God, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Most High, dashed the enemy. Who is like you among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in praises, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, and the earth swallowed them. And in your mercy you led the people, the people whom you redeemed. You guided them by your strength and they came to your holy abode. You brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your own inheritance, the place, O God, that you made your dwelling, the sanctuary, O God, that your hands have made. You reign forever and ever. Alleluia. Alleluia, I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>